There's some deer that sat down sunbathing. I found another lot. This is near um, Shepherd's Coombe. They often um, see them. They they know. They've heard me already. Enjoying the sunshine. So that's near Shepherd's Coombe. I wouldn't have spotted them if I hadn't moved over here. They know, they know I'm watching them. They don't feel threatened. Probably got that on video. I just slept. I slept. It was on video. I wasn't looking where I was going. Right, I'm gonna turn off for a minute. I just slipped there. I'm back on track now. Somewhere down there, the deer is. I've lost them. Um, they've gone out of focus now. Anyway, that's Shepherd's Coombe going down there. Over and out. Right, I've got to Bicknoller Post. Mine heading over there and watch it. Um, I'm at this junction I don't know what to do because I half want to go down the coombe and I half want to go up the top. There's two things you can do. You could go up the top come back that lower track and then go down you've got afternoon that's what that runner's just done see how you feel that's what I suggest go along the top 
if you feel up to it, walk back round the lower path and then go back up the coombe. You can do it, you can do a bit of weaving. Such a nice day. So this is the top path. Down there, Shepherd's Coombe. Down there, which I was going to go down. I might still yet. And uh, this is the top path. Right, and then you'll see the plantation trees when we get further up. Now what if you want to do the coombe, you can then weave back down a lower path in a minute. It is quite a big walk, mind. It'll add a good hour onto your time. That's for sure. Or you can just go back to Alberta when you get there. Because you did do the coombe last time you came, and you didn't do this, you haven't done this route for a while. Over there is Beacon Hill, Trig Point. Um, yeah, I did do, I did quite a bit of walking actually. There's another one when I came up. I've done quite a bit of uh, the Quantox last year. Yeah, I did a lot. Actually, I was out here all the time. <sighs> yeah, I've done it all last year. Everything. <sighs> what it is, I'm wondering if Alberta's got her MOT next, no, two weeks' time. Just under two weeks. By two days, just on that. It depends how, if she fails, how much it's going to cost me. And that'll, that'll be a decider. I can't see that she would fail too badly. I can't see that she would fail too badly because, um, she hasn't really had any damage. She hasn't really done a lot. I'll have to check the miles. I've just seen somebody further back. I don't want to be accompanied. Now I'm a lone walker. Whilst I'm doing my videos. Anyway, somebody said the other day that carrying a bag on your back is good for you, strengthens your bones. Strengthens your bones. That looked like a Bowie person. Is there a bloke that walks around here? He actually reminds me of David Bowie. I don't know why, it's, it's, he wears a cap. He's yeah, got a duffel coat. <laughs> I've seen him a couple of times, not today, but... Oh, he just reminds me of David Bowie. Wouldn't that be weird if he ain't really dead? He's actually living up this way. Oh, wouldn't that be weird? I never know which way to go here. Over there, or straight on. I'm going straight on. But it could be I should go that way. Oh. Yeah, that would be weird, wouldn't it? If David Bowie wasn't really gone. No one's seen his body. We've never seen him dead. One of those mysteries that he's keeping for us. Look at that lovely scene back there, look. The hills, Minehead. I spent four days, four or five days over there in September and the year before I did as well, and I love it. It's absolutely beautiful over there. Peace. I love it. I love it all over the place, but I do love it over there.
I'm just doing a little bit more videoing because um, it's looking out for deers in case they do pop themselves up here sometimes. I'm good at picking them up with a naked eye first, you know. I reckon I see that big group of people. Look, Sheila, you've got that on Zoom. You've had that on Zoom. You've had that on Zoom, girl. It's just a, such a lovely day for walking. Um, I was quite surprised I've... I could be back to the van by the past two. It's unheard of. But this is a very boggy route, everyone. I'm doing a lot of uh, jumping and diving. I've already slipped once, so I've got to be careful. Fortunately, it was very soft and mossy and broke my fall. I sort of slid in the bog, but I didn't get... No real damage, the trousers got a little bit wet, that's all. And then I got my waterproofs on. Once you've been here, you want to come back, because the thing is you want to explore all the combs. Yeah, I don't know if I, what I, if I will do that yet. It's a, that's quite a big hike to do that. I remember I did it with Zara that time. It was too much for her, really. You know? What's going on over there? Let's zoom in a minute. I've seen something glistening. There. What's glistening then? Not sure. Probably just reflection. So this is the 10th of January 2020. Um, we're going to have 20s, aren't we? It's going to be the 2020s that we're going to be going through. We had the noughties. This will be not the 1920s, the 2020s. 100 years on. God. My mum was a teenager in the 1920s. My mother was. My great-gran, Marianne Oak Brooks, was still alive in the 1920s. hundred years. My goodness. A hundred years. I wonder who would be around for us in a hundred years. In uh, the year... 2120. Yeah. Will the planet still be here? Not gonna know, are we? There's a solitary man. There's a solitary man there. Walking very, very fast. As well, the Bowie man. I call him the Bowie man. He keeps stopping as well. I went out at the higher track. I decided to do the higher one. Yes, yeah, so well, they're still walking along. They haven't even they, they haven't even got to Big Noller Post yet. even got to bitten on a post yet. I just don't put, I've just put a little bit of speed on. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, take some photos. Just zoom in over there as a beacon trig point. Beacon Hill. Not far from there is the um, Smith Q 
tomb that I discovered. Last year I did a bit more and the year before I, fe I first done it. There's a ship out there, look. And, um... Yeah. Alright, I'm going to turn off and take some photos now.